Tell me why, the search for the causes of miscarriage. Too many people experience the heartbreak of miscarriage, often multiple times, and are left asking why. We believe the mental and physical impact of miscarriage makes it crucial to understand why it happens and to find treatments for the many miscarriages not caused by chromosomal abnormalities. Research suggests that a pregnancy needs to pass a series of early checkpoints to avoid miscarriage. We are focusing on these checkpoints to see what exactly is affecting the pregnancy and how we can treat it. Checkpoint 1. Quality control and the endometrium. The lining of a woman's womb, the endometrium, is key to a successful pregnancy. It quality controls the embryo as it embeds into the lining of the womb. If the embryo has chromosomal problems, it is rejected here, preventing the pregnancy from continuing. However, sometimes the endometrium doesn't develop in the way it should. This can mean that either an abnormal embryo is allowed to implant or a normal embryo implants in an unprepared endometrium. Both these scenarios can result in miscarriage. They may also be behind women getting pregnant easily, but then enduring multiple miscarriages. Checkpoint 2. Fitness signals from the embryo. The embryo produces fitness signals, like the hormone HCG. These tell the endometrium to continue to develop, allowing the placenta to connect. If these signals aren't produced, the pregnancy ends in miscarriage. Checkpoint 3. Hormone balance. When the placenta develops and embeds into the endometrium, it triggers the production of different hormones, molecules and cells. They prevent the endometrium from rejecting the placenta. An incorrect balance of these hormones results in miscarriage. We have found one hormone imbalance which we can successfully treat, and we are testing for more. Our clinics work with women who have been through miscarriage. By collecting data, biosamples, and investigating these, we can continue to run trials and test new treatments. The more we understand, the more we can help. Support Tommy's research to help us continue this work and prevent future miscarriages.